I have found that many people, especially in the Western world, suffer from environment deficiency, which is one of the reasons we struggle to believe, or continue to believe, in Christianity. It's not the only reason, but it's a reason, and I think it's a very significant one that is hardly discussed, like, ever. This really hit home for me reading Matthew 11. Check this out. Now when John heard in prison about the deeds of Christ, he sent word by his disciples and said to him, Are you the one who is to come, or shall we look for another? And Jesus answered them, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk. Lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised up, and the poor have good news preached to them, and blessed is the one who is not offended by me. So this guy, John, was the same fellow who announced the coming of Jesus as the Savior. This was his life role prophesied in Isaiah, given to him by God, and he fulfilled it. But now, John is in prison, and of all people, he experiences doubt. Is this guy, Jesus, really the Savior we've been waiting for? How does Jesus respond? He says, stuff is happening. God is working. A lot of people think that the reason John developed doubt about Jesus in prison is because his life was so tough there. Maybe, but John always lived a tough life. He chose a difficult lifestyle for himself long before prison. I suspect the reason for John's doubt was because he was not inside an environment where he could observe the stuff that Jesus was up to. And so the answer he needed from Jesus was simply, hey, I'm doing stuff. The stories you've heard are true. This is one of the reasons why I think good, healthy Christian community in God's local church is so important for people because this is a place where God has chosen to operate. I talk about church in a few other videos, but another implication would be to think about the environment of the West that most of my listeners live in. Christianity is struggling in the West. It's fading, has been for a long time. And part of that is because we grow up and swim in this culture where it just doesn't feel like there's anything else out there. And instead it feels like the mysteries of life are found deep inside through meditation or expressive individualism, whatever it is. We happen to live in a culture aimed at ourselves with an emphasis on physical things. And yet, so many other places around the world, Christianity is exploding. It's absolutely wild. And a big reason for this would be reports of supernatural activity. A lot of this has been documented by Craig Keener in his two-volume work on miracles. Uh, Lee Strobel has popularized it some more in his book, Case for Miracles. Candy Gunther Brown with her scientific studies. There's a lot going on. What I'm trying to say is that for those struggling with Christianity, Maybe the problem is the same challenge faced by John. You're not in a great environment to see and interpret what's really happening out there. You think that Christianity is just one of a million powerless religions, which can be just as easily explained away through evolution or human psychology. But once you really study these moves of God happening all around the world, I don't think you'll be able to lump Christianity in the same category as all the other religions out there. In the Bible, you often see these statements which say something like, thus they will know the Lord their God. It's all over the Bible, especially among the prophets. I don't have perfect knowledge, but as far as I'm aware, this statement is always a result of God displaying his power in some remarkable way. So my advice to the skeptic or the struggling Christian would be to open your eyes, look around, and place yourself inside an environment where you can see the power of God at work in Christ. Next week, should we be suspicious of early church councils? Should we trust them? Is it even biblical? This topic has been burning on me for a while. Should be fun. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.